Question 16. Explain about recording in Uipart Studio. Answer. Uipart has full recordings. They are basic. Desktop Web and Citrix. Basic. It is used for the generation of the full selector for every activity but has no container. Hence, the automation is much slower but is good for the single activities. Desktop. It is great for multiple actions and desktop apps. It is much faster than the basic and uses the container where the activities will be enclosed and will also have partial selector. Web. It is used for recording in the web pages and for browsing. It also generates the container Citrix. It is used for recording of virtualized environments, permits, texts, images, and the keyboard automation. Question 17. What are selectors and wildcards in a part? Answer. Wild crafts helps in replacing the strings. It is helpful when you will deal with the attributes which are changing dynamically in the selector. And the selector helps in automatically generating the selection by using the wild craft. Question 18. Why do you perform data scraping in Uipart? Answer. Data scraping helps in enabling the extraction of structured data, document or application. Structured data is a group of information that is organized and presented in a predictable pattern. Question 19. What is the assign activity in Uipart? Answer. We need the assign activity because it helps in assigning values to the variables. Mostly they are used when there is a need for incrementing the variable's value when there is a loop. You can add the value and then store them to another variable or it helps in assigning the value to some array. Question 20. What is the delay activity in Uipart? Answer. Uipart uses the delay activity for making you pause or stop the automation for some period. This is mainly used in projects where you need good timing like waiting and then start of some particular applications or waiting for information processing which you can use in the different activity. Question 21. What is the do-while activity in Uipart? Answer. Do-while helps in enabling the program to execute the specific part of an automation when the condition will be true. If the condition is not true then the loop won't be executed. This activity is used for step through the element present in the array or it also helps in executing any particular activity for many times. You can use counters for keeping track of the increment. Question 22. What is the if activity in Uipart? Answer. If activity is used when you will deal with two conditions where the first statement will get executed if the condition is true while the second one will get executed when the statement will be false. When the variable will have values then the if statement is basically used. Question 23. What is the switch activity in Uipart? Answer. The switch activity helps you to choose one out of the others based on the specified values of the expressions. Switch activity uses integer argument as default but you can easily change it by going to the properties panel and selecting the required type argument list. It helps in categorizing the data depending on the case number. Question 24. What is the while activity in Uipart? Answer. This activity helps in processing a specific activity repeatedly when a particular condition is true. The primary difference between while and do while is that in the former one the condition will be evaluated first and then the loop will be executed. Question 25. What is Package Manager in Uipart? Answer. With the help of Package Manager, you can easily download the activity packages, frameworks, libraries, wrappers, etc. And you can also check the ones which are already present in the container and you can also update them or add or remove them. All these features are only possible because of Manage Packages window which you can easily open by clicking the Package Manager button by pressing on the Activity panel. Question 26. What is project debugging in Uipart? Answer. Debugging is used for identifying as well as showing the error for a particular project. It has breakpoints and logging and it is a type of powerful functionality which will help you to gather information about the project and will highlight the errors step by step. Logging helps you to know what your projects are going through when the programming is done and is shown in the output panel which helps in making the process of debugging easier. Whereas breakpoints help in pausing the execution of your project to help you check the state of the program at a particular point. Question 27. Does Blue Prism require coding? Answer. Blue Prism's digital workforce is fabricated, managed and asserted by the user or customer. Spanning operations and technology, it sticks to an enterprise-wide robotic operating model. It is code-free and can computerize any software. The digital workforce can be applied to automate processes in any department where managerial or administrative work is performed over an organization. 
Question 28. What is publishing an automation project means in a part? Answer. Publishing of the automation package indicates archiving it and the related files present in particular folder for sending it to robots and then executing it. When you will be connected to the orchestrator then the project will go to the orchestrator field and then it will be displayed on packages page. And from this place you can easily distribute them to the other robots after you assign some packages to the environment. Otherwise it will get stored locally in the studio feed. Question 29. What are UI activities properties in UI part? Answer. There are different types of activities which are used in the web pages or in automating apps and you can easily find them in the section of activities panel categorized under UI automation. These UI activities have many properties in common. Continue on error. Even when the activity will show error still, the automation will continue its work. This field works in the boolean value. False is the default value in here. The project won't show any error if the activity on this field is set to true inside the try catch delay after it helps in pausing the activity delay before it helps to pause before any activity timeout ms it helps in finding the element before the error is shown wait for ready it will wait until the target is ready and before you perform the activity target it helps in identifying the element in ui before the activity starts Question 30. How can you enable image and text-based process automation? Answer. If you want to enable the image and text-based process automation, you will have to see that the UI part has some features that will simulate the keyboard or mouse input like hovering, clicking, text recognition, OCR activities etc. that helps for identifying by UI elements by screen scraping. Image or text automation is basically used in the situations where the UI automation won't work like in the environment of the virtual machine or in the places where finding selectors by using the normal methods is not easy.